I'm Kiki. And I'm Keisha. And, and we are Super Mom DIY. DIY. All right, so this chandelier I scored off of Craigslist. Um, the ones with the dangly crystals, which is what I really wanted, cost a lot more, like two, three hundred dollars and up from there. But I did want one with crystals because I thought it would be a lot brighter and shinier. So I saw this one. Um, I got it for $40. It was awesome. And just keep in mind, be very careful and safe when shopping on Craigslist. I did meet this person. I took someone with me and we were in a public place during the day, nowhere near my house. All right, so I do want to change the brass part of it. So I'm going to use this shimmer metallic paint by Krylon. And it has um, like a little glittery tone to it that I got from Michaels. I haven't found that they have the decorative um, paints, spray paints at Home Depot or Lowe's. So what I need to do first is I need to take apart the majority of my chandelier because I don't want to tape off all of the crystal. But as you see, while I take apart the pieces that are easy to take off, anything that you don't feel like you're capable of putting back together, don't take it apart. Instead, tape it off. So that's what I'm going to do with this top section here. I'm just going to tape off that uh, crystal area. And I'm using just this uh, metallic, not metallic, I'm sorry, the painter's tape because it'll be easy to come off and not leave any residue on the crystal part. But the rest of the crystal um, sections on here were very easy to take off. And by me having a picture of the chandelier already put together, it makes it that much easier for me to be able to put it back together when done. All right, so now I'm ready to cover the brass part. So first thing I need to do is because I got a decorative spray paint, it's not one of those two in one where it has primer in the spray paint. So I have to prime this first. So I'm using um, Krylon primer and just a spray primer um, and that's it. So I'm gonna, I'm outside, it's windy. Generally, you shouldn't spray paint when it's windy because I'm ending up losing a lot of paint and it's taking me, you know, a lot more paint to cover. But, you know, whatever. I wanted it done, so I had to go ahead and do it and not wait on the weather to cooperate. So just make sure you fully cover all the brass. So once that's um, done, now I'm moving on to painting it with the pink. And so you see, again, it's windy. Um, so it's taken me a while to get the full coverage that I need. So I ended up using one and I guess a quarter can of the decorative, uh, the metallic, shimmer metallic um, spray paint. It was what, $5.99 a can from uh, my Michaels or Hobby Lobby. I think I got it from Hobby Lobby maybe. So yeah, I'm spraying that on outside. Didn't mean to bend over in your face. <laughs> And here we go. So you see that shimmer? I absolutely love it. Make sure to spray paint all the pieces and the chain at the top. Um, you don't want to leave anything, you know, not painted that you intend to stay pink or that you intend to be pink. And I just want to show this close-up picture so that you can really see the shimmer that's in this paint versus using just a flat or even just the glossy uh, pink, which those two are fine as well. But when I saw this with the shimmer in it, I knew that would make up for me not having any dangly um, crystals. So I caught myself going to show you all how I'm going to hang the chandelier, but I can't quite do that holding a camera at the same time. So yeah, sorry. You have to look elsewhere on YouTube. But here it is, all done and put back together. I love it. Now stay tuned for Keisha's projects. All right, so you just saw Kiki's video for her uh, pink chandeliers, beautiful. Now, I too was on a hunt for chandeliers um, for my girls. The first one is a five-tier chandelier. This one I needed for Ava's closet. It's very large and needed to have more light to it. Um, I found this beauty at an antique store. I think I paid about $30 for it. Um, it was perfect because it was already white and no primer needed. Yay! So the first thing I did when I got this little treasure home 
I cleaned it thoroughly. You want to remove all dust and cobwebs, so I purchased Simple Green and just used the old white t-shirt um, because it has less lint to remove all, you know, of the cobwebs and dust and any other antique shop matter. I used a Rust-Oleum matte in hot pink. and uh, It is the paint plus the primer. Um, I used primer for good measure. Uh, one can yielded me two coats. And if you can hang yours while you're painting, it's actually easier to do that. I wasn't able to do that. So I painted one side, let it dry for a day, and then came back and painted the other side. Um, but total recommendation is just to allow it to dry overnight. Voila! Here is our pink chandelier here. Um, you could add beads and ribbons to make it very dainty. I chose not to. All right, so you know what I do for one, I have to do for the other. Here is Maya's chandelier. She has the three tier. Hers is, her closet is a little smaller than Ava's, so we didn't need anything as large. Um, I got this one at the same place I got Ava, a little antique shop. It's already white, primed, uh, but there she had a little crystal to her, so if you notice, there's blue. Uh, tape there that I taped off the crystal and again I followed the same steps using the simple green to clean it and then using the rust-oleum this time I used the rust-oleum matte but in purple Maya's favorite color and here it is in Maya's closet again you can add beads or any type of embellishment you like thanks for watching super mom DIY